Hello, CD Punk here. Yesterday, on March 8th, 2019, the movie Captain Marvel was released for the world to see. It's another superhero movie by, I believe, Marvel. I don't know what gives me that idea, but something tells me it's, it was them. Anyway, astute viewers of this channel may notice, hey, this has nothing to do with music. Why are you talking about this? You pretty much only talk about Lady Gaga and Nine Inch Nails. Well, guess what? This has to do with Nine Inch Nails. Apparently, in the movie, the lead superhero thing, <laughs> the, the main character, she wears a Nine Inch Nails shirt for most of the film, which is kind of interesting. As many of you may know, on this channel, we mostly talk about Nine Inch Nails and Nine Inch Nails news. However, there isn't much news going on. This is it, so we're going to talk about it. I mean, that's not the only reason we're going to talk about it, but it is interesting for a reason. A few months ago, I released a video about Forever 21 starting to sell Nine Inch Nails merchandise. And we talked about the possibility of Nine Inch Nails becoming one of those bands whose merchandise will be sold in stores simply because the logo looks really nice, as well as the artwork. So we talked about will Nine Inch Nails become one of those classic rock bands like Led Zeppelin or ACDC, whose shirts are sold in Walmarts and Targets, or even fashion clothing stores simply because of the logo, as opposed to the actual music itself. Now, in no way am I saying that people who buy band shirts from Target and Walmart aren't really into those bands, but, you know, there has to be some people that actually you know, just buy the shirt because it's fucking there, because it looks cool. Recently, we even saw one of the Kardashians wearing a Nine Inch Nails shirt. I don't remember which one it was, because I don't even remember any of their fucking names, but one of them wore a Nine Inch Nails shirt and posted it on Twitter. There you go, there's the photo right there. Proof! There are even fashion websites that particularly hunt out the clothes that celebrities wear, and then they provide links to people who want to find those clothes so that they can buy them. So here, at Female Fashion Finder, you can keep up with Kylie. I guess that's her name. You can keep up with Kylie in a tee by Nine Inch Nails. I like what it says here in the middle. She could be seen wearing merchandise from the band Nine Inch Nails, promoting their new album, The Fragile. Hence the slogan on the back. Oh wow, their new album, I can't wait. I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, if some people see a celebrity wearing a shirt, they might want to go get it and not even <laughs> give a fuck about what's actually, whatever it represents. So this movie, Captain Marvel, I was about to say Captain America, I don't know. I'm not into superhero movies, I'm sorry. Anyway, this movie, Captain Marvel, the lead is wearing a Nine Inch Nails shirt for most of the film. And it's a pretty big movie right now. A lot of people are going to go out and see it because it's a Marvel film. I mean, I'm not. I'm not into superhero movies. But, you know, if you are, that's great. Good for you. But you have to wonder, a lot of people are probably going to see this and wonder, what shirt is that? Or already know what it is and think, hey, you know what? I just watched a whole movie of this. The whole movie with the lead character wearing a Nine Inch Nails shirt. I might as well go check them out on iTunes. That's going to happen with some people. Or maybe not. Maybe some people will just buy the shirt because, eh, fuck it. She wore it, I want to wear it too, why the hell not? So, in a way, this is part of what we talked about before. It's just the logo bleeding into pop culture more. Like I said before, we saw it bleed into Forever 21, a very preppy-ish store. There's nothing wrong with that, that's fine. It's not typical of the type of clothing they usually sell, but they're selling one. Then a Kardashian's wearing one, and now it's in a, <laughs> a very popular film. Where is it going to go from here? Are they going to become one of those bands? I don't know. So apparently, Marvel Studios collaborated with Nine Inch Nails, and they are now selling Captain Marvel Nine Inch Nails shirts. There are currently two shirts available, one in white, one in gray. So there's the shirt right there. It's the Nine Inch Nails logo surrounded by some little rhombuses. Don't know what that's all about. Well, I do. I mean, if I... Googled it, you can see a photo of Captain Marvel in her suit. In the middle of her suit thing is the star thing. So yes, that's what you can have. You can have that star thing with a Nin logo in the middle. Oh, and they're also selling a white Nine Inch Nails shirt too. Just so, you know, because it looks like the one in the film. So why not, right? So if that's what you're into, go out and get it. Because it's probably not going to last for very long. Well, it's definitely not going to last for very long. It says, available for a limited time only. So it won't be available for long. Not officially. I mean, you could go get a bootleg of it. But who wants a bootleg shirt, right? Come on. Well, funny that we mentioned that. It's a pretty good segue, I promise. 
Rob Sheridan, longtime art director for the band Nine Inch Nails, completely shit all over the party with these two tweets. Captain Marvel claims to be a hero, yet she wears a very clearly bootleg nin shirt, stealing money from hardworking musicians. Shameful. He continues. You can tell it's a bootleg because they always get the outside rectangle wrong. It's too thin. It's supposed to be the same width as the letters. I had to deal with people fucking this up for years. It's all I could see through the whole fucking movie. This is my curse. And he finished off with saying, but the movie was fun. Please make Goose an Avenger. I have no idea what that last part means. Not a fucking clue, but sure, okay. So there you have it. The shirt is actually a bootleg. If anyone would know, it would be this man here. He worked with Nine Inch Nails for years, designing album covers, shirts, flyers, you name it, he fucking designed it for the band. Even towels. Yes, there were Nine Inch Nails towels at one point. I think he was only in Japan, but still, they made them. Now, obviously I was joking when I said that he just did this to shit all over the party. He was simply bringing in his insight because he worked with the logo for years and he would know it better than almost anyone in the world. So he was simply just sharing his two cents. I actually think Rob Sheridan's a pretty cool cat and I would love to have him on the show. I mean, not that this is a show. This is just me talking over some thumbnails, but I'd love to have him on the channel and have him talk over some thumbnails with me one day. <laughs> so that would be fun. But anyway, that's it. So the conclusion is Nine Inch Nails continues on its path to become a classic rock band whose logo may become one of those, you know, one of the big top hot dogs in the <laughs> hot dog. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. They may become up there with, you know, the Metallica logo and the Beatles and all those other classic rock bands you see sold at Target and Walmart. They're on their way. They are almost there. And the shirt in the movie was a fake, a bootleg. So Captain Bootleg, I now dub the Oh, also, March 8th was the 25th anniversary of some crappy album. I don't, I don't know. I was told, anyway. But yes, that's it. That's all we have to talk about in this video. Now, a few weeks ago, I did post a video saying, hey, if you want to ask me some questions for an Ask Me Anything video, I'll answer them. And I did answer them. However, I haven't posted the video yet because the video is very fucking long. So I have to finish editing that, but it will be up shortly. So thank you for your patience. But that is it. That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, why not check out some of the other videos on this channel? Because if you like Nine Inch Nails, you might like those other videos too. And if you don't like Nine Inch Nails, I have no idea why you watched this video. So feel free to check out those. And if not, then don't. Thank you. Bye for now.